I'm going to share with you a little dermatology secret. Each of our skin types has a number that gives us a clue about how to protect ourselves from the sun. Assessing your particular skin type is important for understanding the relative risk of UV exposure. And it turns out there's a scale to help us find that out. Dr. Rosen, tell us about the scale. Well, Dr. Fitzpatrick was an American dermatologist um, from the Harvard Medical School. In 1975, he wanted to come up with a way of trying to help us identify who is more at risk or less at risk um, of skin cancer and other sun-related diseases. So he came up with a scale based on skin colour type and their ability to tan or to burn. So we've assembled a few people here today right. and we're going to ask them some questions about yep. tanning and burning yep. and work out where they fit on his scale. Right. Hi guys. Hi. Hi. How are you going? So lead us through. What do we need to do? So I'd like you all to have a look at the chart and see the, the, uh, the gradation. And then maybe if you could arrange yourselves on the stairs from one at the, the bottom to six at the top and move to those positions where you think you might be. Let's go. One's down here, all the way up to sixes at the top. This is gonna be interesting. So let me ask you a couple of questions. Do you tan at all? Not really. And do you burn? Yes. Do you burn easily? Yes. Well, that's what he described, type one. So Fitzpatrick one burns very easily and never tans. Two burns easily and rarely tans. Number three sometimes burns and gradually tans. Four hardly ever burns and tans very easily. Type five skin is Asian skin. Now, I, really? it is, it's very interesting because there is obviously a wide and a broad spectrum there as well. So, do you burn very easily or not? Uh, no. Not really. No. And, and do you tan relatively easily? Can be. Yeah. yeah. So if you'd really like to step, uh, step up to step five, that'd be great. That's quite extraordinary. She's moved up two steps. Well, I think it's just on a basis of genetic background, really. Yeah. And let's remember, this is a guide. Yes. It's not absolute. And right. um, everybody fits on the scale somewhere, and there may be some variation. So you pick type five, yeah. and may I ask your heritage as well? South African. South African. I would think, though, you probably would tan fairly uh, easy, go fairly dark fairly quickly. Is that, is that right in the sun? Well, right now, I'm quite tan. Right. It's my natural skin colour. So right. That, so. so I would gauge you as type 6, actually, type so six. along along Fitzpatrick's scale. So if you'd be happy to step onto um, level 6, that'd be great. Right. Terrific. So, Aru, may I ask um, your heritage as well, please? Africa. Right, so, so you have naturally a darker skin colour and as a consequence, on Fitzpatrick's scale, that would be uh, uh, the, uh, the level six. He made the, the, I think, the correct decision straight off. He did. He also so wanted were... to be even taller than he is. <laughs> so where would someone like me fit on the scale? Well, I think you would be level five. Level oh, five. Yes. And can you remind me what level five is again? So like, level five is really more a lower risk. Yeah. Once again, not zero, but a relatively lower risk than the very pale uh, English Celtic type right. skin. So Fitzpatrick type 5 very rarely burns and tans very easily. And finally 6 doesn't noticeably burn and tans very dark. All right, Rob, what position are you? So, Lily the White Legs, I should be right Lily down the, the bottom. Legs. All right, <laughs> we'll see you down there. So I'm with you guys down here. Oh, OK. There we are, very pale. All right. So knowing where we sit on the scale helps us tailor our skin care and assess our own personal danger level. All right, guys, we've got a bit of a pop quiz, and we're going to start off with the question, who thinks T-shirts protect them from the sun? All right, it's about half of us. I think so too, but what's the right answer? Well, it varies, but not very much, to be honest. So, uh, especially a light-coloured cotton T-shirt doesn't give us much protection at all. In fact, probably comparing it to sunscreens only like an SPF 5 or 7. And if it gets wet, it's less, maybe even an SPF 2. So a simple T-shirt, which is cotton, is not giving us adequate protection, particularly at the beach. Wow. Maybe we can do the same thing with a hat. Can I borrow your hat? And maybe your hat as well. So, so what are we looking for in a hat? Well, the same sort of thing. If the light is getting through the hat, it's coming through to you. The right. ultraviolet laser are penetrating. So if you hold it up to the light, you can see the lights coming through the hat. And so are the UV rays. And this one actually has less coming through. Right. But this one seems to be the winner. There we are. 
All right, guys, when should you put sunscreen on before going to the beach? Straight away. Straight away? Before you leave your house. When you leave home? Yeah. About 15 minutes. About 15 minutes. About half an hour before you go in the sun. About half an hour? Uh, maybe like one hour. An hour? All right, so we've got a range there between 15 minutes to an hour. What's the right answer? It's usually about half an hour, so it gives it adequate time to settle on your skin and provide protection. And it's going to last you a couple of hours after that, which is enough. Uh, i got a question. Uh, should dark skin apply a sunscreen as well? Absolutely. We all, under the right circumstances, are going to burn and then get skin cancers. People with dark skin also have the same uh, problem. Even though it may be slower, it, it still is a problem. And consequently, everybody should be applying sunscreen. So tanning is actually a sign that damage is occurring? That's exactly right. The skin in trauma.